Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. When I was shopping yesterday, I found pork chops and mushrooms on special. So, I'm just going to keep this really simple and throw those in the crock pot with a can of cream of mushroom soup. So let's get crocking. I got this big, huge family pack of pork chops for 99 cents a pound. So <laughs> this is eight and a half pounds of pork chops. I'm not going to need all those, so I'm just going to take a few of them out of there and wash them off and maybe cut them up. And I also got this huge bag of mushrooms. At the Lucky's where I shop, when the mushrooms, the bulk mushrooms, start getting kind of old, they bag them up like this. And I picked up this bag for $1.99. So, and you can freeze these. So I'm just going to slice a bunch of these up for this recipe, and the rest are going in the freezer. I just seal up the bag and stick them in the freezer just like that. Works great. I rinsed off my pork chops and I'm just using about half of them. The other half went into the freezer. So, um, and I decided to cut them up just into pieces. And you don't have to do this, but I thought I would just trim them up, cut them into smaller pieces. And I'm just kind of trimming off this excess fat. Like that. I put my can of mushroom soup in there. This is a 22.6 ounce can. And I'm also gonna put about half a can of water in there. And also uh, about a tablespoon of onion powder. If you don't have any onion powder, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It'd be okay without it. Just kind of mix that together a little bit. And then we'll get our uh, pork in there and our mushrooms and then we'll get the lid on. Alright. Pork. And it really doesn't matter how much pork and how much mushrooms you use. It's You can kind of use however much you want. As long as you have enough liquid to cover it, enough soup. If you need to use more or less soup, you can do that. It's not rocket science. And I cut up a whole bunch of those mushrooms because I really like whole mushrooms if you don't like them that much you don't have to put them in you can just use the mushroom soup and, and pork that'd be fine too all right I'm gonna get this all mixed together good and then I'll get the lid on there I got that mixed up pretty good um, I'm gonna cook this on high so it'll probably take about four hours if you cook it on low, probably about eight. Um, it may need a little salt and pepper, but I'll add that when it's done. So I will see you guys later on and show you how it looks. This has been cooking for a little over four hours now. So let's open it up and take a look here. <laughs> it's never too appetizing when you first open it up. You always have all this foam on top, but that's normal. Once you stir it up, it looks a lot better. I think this looks pretty good. Um, I have some egg noodles over here, so um, I'm gonna cook those up and then we'll be back and uh, we'll serve it up and see how it turned out. Well, there's how it looks when it's all done. When I first opened it up at four hours and stirred it up, it really wasn't very tender yet, but by the time I cooked the noodles and took a few pictures, it cooked probably five hours, so as you can see, nice and tender now, just coming right off the bone. So I would say cooking time, about four and a half to five hours on high and probably eight or nine on low. Let's give this a taste here. It's turned out really good. The pork is really tender and a really nice mushroom flavor from all those mushrooms I put in there and the mushroom soup. I used it, put this over egg noodles, but you could put it over rice or mashed potatoes or anything you like, really. It's pretty easy and it's really good. Hope you give it a try. 
Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.